Welcome to multiplying multi-digit numbers using the standard algorithm. Let's do a quick refresher just so you know what we're doing. So I'm looking at the first problem here and I have 789 times 382. So in order to do that, I'm just going to start right here in my ones place. And I'm going to go 2 times 9 is 18. So 8, and then I'm going to carry the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus my 1 more is 17. 7, carry the 1. And then 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. So I put my 5, and then I would carry that 1, but there's nowhere else for it to go. So I'm just going to write it down here. Oops, I'll have to do that a little better. So I just finished multiplying everything by that 2. So I have 1,578. So I'm going to erase those, and now let's move on to the next row. In fact, I'll even do the next row in a different color. So now I'm going to be multiplying by this 8 here. So, since I'm doing that, I need to, better size, put a 0 as my placeholder, because I'm not working in the 1's place anymore, I'm working in the 10's place. So there's my 0 as a placeholder, and now I can go 8 times 9 is 72. My 2, carry the 7. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 7 more, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So I can put my 1, 7, 8 times 7 is 56, plus 7 more, 56, 7, 68, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So I can put my 3, and I would carry my 6, but there's nobody else to multiply by, so my 6 just goes there. And now I'm done multiplying by the 8 which is really an 80 since it's in the tens place. All right, so now I can keep going. Let's pick a new color to make it really easy to see the difference. So I multiplied by the 2. I multiplied by the 8. Now I'm going to multiply this by this 3, and this 3 is in the hundreds place. So I'm going to put a 0, because I'm not working in the ones place, and another 0, since I'm done with those, I'm working in the hundreds place now. So 3 times 9 is 27. 7, carry the 2. 3 times 8 is 24, 25, 26, carry the 2, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 more is 23, so put my 3, and I would carry the 2, but there's nothing else to multiply by, so it just goes right there, and now I've got all of that, I can draw one great big line and add it up, this time I like to really stop and check for a second, and I ask myself, okay, I'm multiplying by a three digit number, I should have one, two, three rows of numbers, so I've got all that, and then the other thing I like to ask myself is the first row, I didn't need to add a zero. The second row, I should add one zero. And the third row, I should have at least two zeros. So I always check to make sure that I've got my zero. All right, now that I've got all that, let's do the adding. Eight plus zero plus zero is eight. Seven plus two is nine. Nine plus zero is still nine. Five plus one is six. Six plus seven is 13. Three, carry the one. One plus one is two. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, 1, carry the 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, and now I can count and put in my commas. So I always go like this, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, oh, there's no more digits, so just the one comma. So my answer is going to be 301,398. So let's use that exact same strategy and move on to the next problem. I like to use different colors when I'm showing it to you. If it helps you to use different colors, go for it. It's not required. So I'm multiplying 8,025 by 109. All right, so we're just going to start here in the ones place like last time. 9 times 5 is 45. 5 carry the 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 more is 22. 2 carry the 2. 9 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. 9 times 8 is 72, 2, and there's nowhere else to go, so just put my 7. All right, I finished with that one. Go down to my next line. Now I'm going to be working in this place, and I can put my 0. And 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. That wasn't easy. Let's do our next line. Get our next color going. So I finished with that one. I'm going to work in the hundreds place now, which means I need two zeros. Zero, zero. One times five is five. One times two is two. One times zero is zero. One times eight is eight. All right. Draw my line. Add them all up. 
5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. And bring down my 8. Now I can do my comma trick. 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3. Oh, there's nothing more. So my answer is 874,725. Good luck. <laughs>